So you've gone to audiotool.com, you've created your account, you've logged into the app, and you're thinking to yourself, I want to play something like I would play a piano. But I don't know how to do that. Well, this is the video for you. You could use a MIDI controller. That is a little bit more advanced, and there is going to be a video for that. But right now, we're going to just do something very simple. We're going to show you how to use your computer keyboard like a piano keyboard. So we're going to start off by pulling in a synthesizer. You could use the Pole Veracitur. You could use the Heisenberg. You could use the Space. You might even be able to use the Tone Matrix. I'm going to use the Pole Veracitur. And you'll notice that when I pull it in, I get this little box here. If you don't get this box, don't worry. All you have to do is right click and click Show Software Keyboard. This software keyboard lets us control the sounds that are coming out of this Pulse Rassiteur. And so you'll notice when I click on this keyboard, it plays the corresponding note. I can change what octave it's playing by clicking up and down on this octave thing. So when I click up, it's higher. When I click down, it's lower. And here's the really cool thing, though. You'll see these uh, letters. These are keys on your keyboard. So if you go to your keyboard, you can play this like a piano. Really, it's more like an organ, but because it's in two rows, but that doesn't really matter. Um, and with that, I can mess around and... Ooh, I like how that sounds. I'm going to record that. I want to add that to the track that I'm making. To do that, come up to this little top area, you're going to see this button here, record on off. Go ahead and click that. See how it lights up? The little play button lights up. This timing bar has started moving. I'm going to go ahead and just plunk out the chords that I just thought up there. And you'll notice that when I did that, it created a note region for me and put the notes where I was playing them. So if I come over here and click play, hey, that actually sounds kind of nice. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and move this note region to the beginning of the track because I want to do something with it. I am going to go ahead and pull in another synthesizer. And I... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with this new synthesizer. So let's go ahead and um, first of all, I'm going to make this a little bit easier to hear. Um, and uh, that's just by changing the timbre of this Heisenberg. And then I'm going to go ahead and set up the software keyboard and Okay, yeah, I think that that would work well with uh, what I just recorded. So I'm going to go ahead and record that alongside the um, notes I recorded on the Pulverasi 2. Uh, whoops. I started recording before I moved my starting point back to the beginning. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, record again. And I'm going to just make that sound a little bit nicer by um, making it a little bit less harsh on the high end. There we go. And you can hear that both of those are playing together. You can use this process to record things and play them like you would play a piano. And all you need to use is your computer keyboard to get started. You can always um, dive deeper into things, but this is a great way to start. So I hope this helped you and um, hope to see 
more uh, creations from more people on audio tool.